And what color is the sky? It's blue. Blue? Blue like the? The sea. <laughs> Anna, you see that cloud? What does it look like? It looks like a dragon. Look, Mommy, a crow. And he's brought friends along with him. You see that? back in a few days. Try and get some rest here. All right? Mm -hmm. ah! Coming, Mommy! Dad's about to leave! It's the best place ever, Mommy! Anna, you got yourself all soaked. He's leaving? want to stop. You know how much he hates goodbyes. I don't really like goodbyes either, Mommy. Daddy has a lot of work in San Marcos. But he'll be back for us soon. But, Mommy, when, though? Very soon, darling. Look at the beautiful view of the ocean. Daddy's angry with me, isn't he? Anna, you're what he loves most in the world. He always tells me so. I just really wanted for the three of us to be together, that's all. Don't look so sad. <laughs> How about giving me a smile, huh? Mm-mm. Oh, no? Mm-mm. I guess then I'll have to steal one from you. <laughs> <laughs> When the sun hits the earth a certain way, people act strange. Mommy, come look 
what Crash did. Crash? Bad dog, no! Can't you see he's sleeping right now? <laughs> see? You've woken him up now. Hello? <laughs> oh, this girl has a giant head. It's a top it off. She's cross eyed. <laughs> Don't make fun of the girl, Giggles. All right. Apologize to her. This is a really nice puppet. His name happens to be Giggles. And he is not a puppet. He's alive. You're the one moving his mouth, though. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> she said you're moving my mouth. <laughs> Wait, you're controlling him. Ooh. I don't want to hurt his feelings. But guess what? I'm actually the one controlling him. Just look. Dance okay. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman. Yeah, now please stop bothering Rogay. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't be scared. I'll, I'll come on right down. Take this. Bye-bye, giant head. <laughs> uh, uh, well, wait a second. Uh, uh, Giggles, he, uh, he, he escaped. Uh, 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 take, take him away. Take him to the third floor. Let go of me. The third floor. No, no, no. Not the third floor. No, no, no. A thousand pardons, madam. This gentleman needs to get his rest. Everyone... Continue what you were doing. Please carry on. Oh, no. How could they do something like that? It's not possible. That old man forgot to take his doll, Mommy. Should I take it to him? Not the third floor. Not the third floor. No, 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 no. Promise me you will never, ever, ever go up to that floor. Anna? Here. I'm looking for my little dog. Hmm. Do I have it look like a dog? No, but you oh. have long ears. <clears throat> you! Who are you, huh? My 
name is Anna. Mm -hmm. Anna? Mm hmm. Come. Anna? Come. 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 Anna. Huh. She's with you, huh? Look me in the eyes. You're running late. You're running late, ma. I've got to get back to my mommy. No, wait. Accompany me to Giggles' goodbye party first. You're going to take her? Now it's 4.37 and 41, 42, 43. Hey! for them. We keep them company whenever they're lonely, which is pretty often because after their families commit them here, even if they say they'll come back in a few days, they end up always being gone for good. Hugo, for example, grabbed that in the head of that guest over there. When he was little, he went to bed and his parents would beat him because of it. <laughs> uh, 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 hurry up! You're running late. Tick's friend is compulsively punctual. Apparently he got stood up when the love of his life didn't elope with him as he planned. What? What love of her life? Oh, this pachyderm is the product of the imagination of a hideously controlling neurotic woman. And that hairy hand? Well, uh, I won't tell you what his owner was traumatized with. He g g g got away from us. With our friend Giggles, every day was a party. <laughs> What happened to him? Do you see that man there? That's Roken. He invented Giggles, who died. It was his hallucination. His hallucination? His imaginary being. Why is he like that? That quack took him into the back room and plugged him into the machine of oblivion so he wouldn't see his friend anymore. He turns on his device. Click. A few electric jolts. <laughs> And poof! Bye bye, poor Giggles! <laughs> Nobody laughed like he did! <laughs> I wish I would have had the chance to get to know him a little better. <laughs> that was gonna be your laughing stock. 
You'll have to forgive him, please. He's a bit tipsy right now. Leave me alone. I just came here to get some coffee. Why can't you behave? Let me go or I'll make you disappear. I'll make you disappear, okay? I'll stop thinking about He's the friend of a guy in the addictions pavilion. When he drinks, he starts to see bugs climbing all over the walls. Well, I really must be going now. Excuse me. Excuse me if I've offended you. It's just that this music is so darn sad. It would have made Giggles himself cry. Yeah! Can't we listen to something a little more upbeat? Take your dirty mitts off me! <laughs> are no longer with us. I'll bet the Giggles would have wanted us to say goodbye with a big party. <laughs> and without any tears. It's time to drink. To... <laughs> with all due respect, you little lady. <laughs> What's wrong, sweetheart? Can't you sleep? I went to the third floor, Mommy. Anna. And, and, I, and I met a very little green man. Anna. And, and, and a Anna. pinata and, and a blow. Calm friend. down, sweetie. Why can't I see imaginary beings, Mommy? Am I crazy? No, it was only a dream, dear. It wasn't a dream, Mommy. There, there was a, a, a fire monster. Fire monster? <laughs> wrong, Miss Carmen. The monster! It's in here! Hmm. Uh, First of all, uh, let's calm uh, down, shall we? I, uh, I thought we were safe here, but it's found us now. We have to get out of here. Where will you be going, uh, dressed like that? Oh. Oh. Let me go! Oh. It'll get out! There's absolutely nothing in there. Uh, uh, have a look. Uh, 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 Oh, she's a walking disaster. Well, then she will have to change floors. Mm. Let me go. Where are you taking me? 
to a different room, Miss Carmen, so that you'll feel a lot and more comfortable. In She's raving, that poor thing. Yeah. They get that way sometimes when the husband leaves them for a younger woman. I'm sure he has another family by now. <laughs> People are trying to recover here. Anna. Mommy? Anna? Here, Mommy. Here I am. What are you doing here, Anna? I told you to leave. I'm not leaving you with that monster thing, Mommy. Time's up for this lock. Hurry up! That bonfire with papers is coming back. One, one second, please. G -g 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 Give me one more second. of three, you'll awake and remember none of this. One, two, and three.
catch a cold? Better come in out of the draft right now. Quiet, rap! What's our destination? San Marcos. San Marcos? What's that? A spa? Is there skiing? Horseback riding? That's the time where we live. Oh, I needed a change of scenery. The madhouse routine. Get up, annoy the madman. Let him rest, annoy the madman again. Oh, it was starting to stifle me. We shouldn't go back for at least a month. A month? I gotta go back today. Today? I have to get my daddy there. But why? He, is he also, uh, like your mommy? Listen, my mommy's not crazy. She isn't? Then how come she sees fire monsters? I saw it too, Bruno. Just like I can see you. Does that make me crazy? No, what makes you think that? You are just a kid. Well, that's different. <laughs> Well, you see, children and animals can oftentimes see us. Uh-huh. And drunks can't too. All of you guys came? We all wanted to visit San Marcos, too! How could you think we would leave you alone? So who's taking care of my mommy? Oh! Goodness gracious. We'd better tranquilize her then, before she begins to destroy everything. Mm -hmm. Hey! Don't you worry yourself! Your mommy's in good hands! While we're on vacation, the doctor will apply all of his little shocks so that Incubus won't keep popping up on her. Where did she say we were going? To San Marcos! <laughs> Wake me up when we get there! Something is wrong. Take it easy, Rolex. Enjoy the view and forget your worries. No, no. It's just that we'll never get there this way. The com the compass says we're going the up, 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 opposite direction. San Marcos is south. And right now, we're going north. Northeast. We gotta catch another train. Another train? Tickets, please. Tickets. <laughs> Cover us! Tickets in hand, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh. Oh. Cover us, come on! Come on, are you patting or do you want a kiss? May I have your ticket? Pop the bottle, please! Come on, guys, let's go! Open the door, man! Get a move on! <gasps> oh, they left me all alone! Am I going crazy? Jump, Anna! Jump now! Be 
You better not fall, girly. <laughs> Why do this, madam? Why destroy your room in this manner? Tell me, madam. It was the monster. The monster? So this means that the fire monster is still bothering us? It attacked us. My daughter and me. Oh, let's see. So tell me. Do you see a monster in this room? Behind me, there is only air, see? <gasps> now tell me, where is your daughter? <laughs> where is my daughter? No! <laughs> Hello, madam. Mrs. Carmen. A single penny? Look again. What, you don't believe I'm blind? Sorry. Why don't you ask your parents? My dad is in San Marcos. I'm trying to look for a train to see him. Oh, no. There's only one a day going to San Marcos, and it's gone. Are you sure? Sure. I practically live here. Try seven. What's his name? Crash. Me too. Huh? I crash all the time. Hello, Crash. You mind if I play with him a little bit? But I just can't wait till tomorrow. I need to warn my daddy that my mommy's in danger. Well, let's go then. Do you want to go to San Marcos or not? Okay, let me find my friends. Friends? I thought you were here all alone. Except for Crash. What do you mean, no? There's Bruno, Tick, and the elephant girl. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, uh-huh. 
I also have a bunch of friends. Everyone can come. Gypsies are kidnapping the girl! Oops! <laughs> How many do you want? Five. With everything? Yeah, with everything. Hop on in. But I don't know how to drive. I do. in a minute. Hey, where are you going? I have to get there, even if it's on foot. Well, um, we can always hitchhike over there. The most important thing is to smile. Say Marcos, does that work for you? <laughs> Problem. It's not like they're expecting me anywhere. And your family? My parents died when I was very little. You must miss them a lot, huh? Sometimes I imagine their voices calling to me in the terminal. As if they were coming for me on a train from very, very far away. You can have them both. 
the girl will be back in no time. Excuse me. We want to help you try on your brand new dress. <gasps> Thank you. Run, guys! Go be free! Oh, oh, don't start throwing ropes now! <gasps> the house is on the other side of town. It has the highest and prettiest weather vane of all. Watch where you're going, kid! is a representative of the American but 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 rest. The clock manufactured in Vienna slows 18 seconds every 15 years. Take up for your boy or girl. Buy a balloon. Why you get a balloon? Ah, a happy ending. The girl runs to find her father. The gods have won their liberty and us. After having done our good deeds, take a well-deserved rest. Oh, with more effort, please, faster. She doesn't need you anymore, Bruno. Now she has a friend that's real. <laughs> down, down. Good boy, good boy. Yeah. Go! Princess, come. I'll take you home. It's okay. Daddy? Have you seen your dad yet? Anna? Oh! Oh, no. Find your dad yet, Anna? My dad already forgot about us both. That's why we abandoned us at the clinic. All we are is a bother to him. No big deal. <laughs> After all, who needs a dad? Let's go chase some goats, okay? <laughs> you don't understand anything! You don't understand! Since you've never had anybody. Well, no. <laughs> but now I have you guys, right? Anna? Anna? Crash? Where are you taking me? Just relax, ma'am. The doctor wants to invite you to his table. Howdy. Hey, what's Poncho so happy about? He says he hasn't seen a single little green man all day long. No way. Mm -hmm. And he's not the only one. Maria hasn't obsessed over what time it is all day. Yes, you're actually right. Don Alejandro has also stopped talking to the toilets. <laughs> what on earth is going on? 
You see, madam? Can you see Dr. Mendez's treatments really work? Come in, madam. <sighs> Pleasure keeping you company, but we have to go now. Right, Bruno? Would you like us to go back to the clinic on tomorrow's train? What do you mean, tomorrow? Where are we gonna spend the night in this one-horse town? My house. We can stay over there. Let's go. <gasps> if you think I'm gonna let you spend the night in that boyfriend stealer's house... Listen here, you eraser-colored pack of them! Anna hasn't stolen anything from you, and I could never be your boyfriend. Never! <laughs> yeah. Engrave that on your legendary memory! You are not my type! You wanna know how I like them? Like this! I follow one like this all the way to Mars! But never, ever, 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 ever would I fall in love with a gigantic pig with a tail in the middle of her face! Huh? Oh, and those awful rags that you did for me are horrible! I hate them! <laughs> Molly, you can tell there was a lot of warmth in your home, huh? Best to leave it this way. I'm in another place now. Anna, I don't want to neglect you this way, but mm, things haven't been easy in the least for either of us, sweetheart. I... I get by somehow. But your mommy... There's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. How can you ever say that, Daddy? You're the only person that can save her. I'll try to visit you more often, sweetie. Huh? <laughs> Goodbye. Wait a second, Daddy. Died. She did. 
Anna? Ah! She's a ghost! Ah! I am not a ghost. I'm alive. Then what's that? I don't know. There must be some mistake. Look at me. I'm alive. Unless maybe... Hallucination? Aha! Uh -huh. You're just like us! I don't want to be a hallucination! There's nothing wrong with being imaginary! Just look at everything we're able to do! That's so gross! <laughs> Perhaps our owners aren't so peaceful, but as they're hallucinations, we have a pretty good time. Sometimes we're even good for them, like you and your mommy. She's the one who's been imagining me? <gasps> so that means... She really is crazy. Double trouble, then. Because she doesn't have just one friend, but two. Well, no, one friend and one enemy. That hideous creature is also the product of her imagination. But, but why? I don't know. I guess it's just not easy for her to accept what happened to you. Can all imaginary beings really do anything they want? Anything you want! I want to face the monster so that my mommy won't suffer anymore and be cured! Did you blow a fuse upstairs? If she's cured, she'll stop imagining you! Yes, don't you re re remember what happened to g g g Giggles, Anna? <laughs> but the monster too! He would disappear forever as well! The thing is, the both of you would disappear! Uh -huh. Together with everything your mommy's keeping here inside. Think of it as a cleanse, a rinsing out, if you will, madam. When the electricity passes through your brain, it will take away all of that anguish and those painful memories, leaving it just like new. <laughs> feel only a slight tingling sensation. big for a love nest. So now, how do we get inside? <laughs> mm, you catch on pretty quick. Huh? Can I enter his dreams? Well, um, theoretically... Daddy? It's me. Your daughter, Anna. Wake up, Daddy. Wake up. We've got to go help Mommy. Mm -mm. You've got to do it with conviction. 
action like this. Hey, sir! Anna's father! Wake up already! Your daughter needs you! Time to get up, lazy bones! Don't you get it? Your daughter needs you! Wake up! No! Wake up, Daddy! Wake up! We need time to run faster. <laughs> How if I can hardly walk? <sighs> Forgive me, brother. Yes, yes, wake up, Daddy. Hurry up. What's this, Mr. Richard? Why are you up so early? I slept in, and now I'm running very late. It's already 6.30. What would you like for breakfast? No! No, no, I don't have time, ma'am, but thanks. Of course you do. No guest of mine leaves this house with their stomach empty. <gasps> it's not a love nest. It's only a guest house. I'll fix something right up for you. No, Bruno! <laughs> Well, to be honest, I am kind of hungry. You've got to take better care of yourself. <laughs> How much weight have you lost since you got here? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is, to be honest. By the way, have I paid you this week? <gasps> don't worry, Mr. Richard. No, no, no. What do you mean? With all the expenses you have, attending to your wife... That's it! Remember Mommy! You can just pay me later. I dreamt about Anna. It was so real. It was as if she were right there next to my bed. Oh, Mr. Richard. It worked, Bruno! It worked! Huh? Oh, yeah? How'd you do that? You gotta teach it me! It wasn't a dream, Daddy! I'm here! I think I ought to visit her more often. Not me! Mommy, go get her! And how is Mrs. Carmen doing? Uh-huh. Well, the doctor promised to do everything in his power. People say that he's a visionary, that he uses the most advanced methods. Yeah, sure, he slices up your brain and sticks it in a toaster. But, uh, he needs time. I'm planning on visiting her at the end of the month. No, by then we'll be too late, Daddy. We've got to do something. <laughs> Seven already? Whew, how the time flies. Now I really must get going. Mommy? Yes, honey, I'll be right there to play with you, my dear. My goodness, it's so cloudy out there. Must you go out today, Mr. Richard? Yes, Daddy, yes! Yes, Daddy. Huh? Uh, I mean, yes, Miss Emily. I really have to go. Thank you. Officer, I was just leaving. I was leaving. Crash? Oh, what are you doing here? Did Anna leave you too? Do something! Patch them! Turn yourselves into wheels! Hey now! We're not made of rubber, you know! Need some help with that neighbor? Yes. Could you lend me a spare, please? Are you going on a trip? Just to the capital. Not the city, Daddy. No. <laughs> Rosie would pick this up in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Where did Nosy Rosie go, I wonder? <laughs> ah. Did you hear me, Daniel? Daniel, did you hear me? 
you hear me? I heard you. I'm not deaf. Listen, one of the things you learn when you don't have anybody is that you don't actually need anybody in life. Yesterday, for example, a girl I met asked me to accompany her to her hometown. And what things do I get? She booted me there, in the middle of a strange place. No roof, no one around. The scenery apparently was really something. But I survived. As always, I figure you must be even better at handling yourself alone. I didn't mean to abandon you. It's just that it all happened so fast. Forgive me. You have the right to be angry now. But it isn't true that you're alone. There are many more beings than you can imagine that are all around you. We aren't alone, Daniel, and we can't handle everything ourselves. I did it out of love, Bruno. Out of love. You know, this is all your fault, Rosie. 
Yeah, sure, I know I was wrong, and I apologize, all right? <sighs> no. It's all your fault, Rosie, for allowing Bruno to treat you this way in the first place. You seriously ought to find someone who really loves you. And you? Aren't you ashamed? I just wanted to help you get to the clinic as quickly as possible. Without any setbacks. If you truly want to help me, Bruno, then teach me how to disappear and appear someplace else like you guys. I will be your teacher. What are you up to now? Helping me out. The first step is to take a very deep inhale. <gasps> Listen, I can teach you as well, okay? Wouldn't you rather have me as a teacher? Step two. You have to really, but I mean really want it. Fix it on your target. Don't lose sight of it for not even an instant. I want to be in the clinic now. I want to be in the clinic now. I want to be in the clinic now. And now, you are simply there, Anna. You were there? I'm over there. I'm over there. Huh? Oh. <gasps> she did it! She did it! She, she did, did it! it. <laughs> Anna! Well, uh, you gotta start somewhere. Here comes a big one. Smile crash. <laughs> Be careful, Crash. Are you all right? I am. How about you? Oh. Are you headed for the city? If you're tired, I can help drive, okay? Just let me know. You know how to drive? Ooh, a bit of everything. Motorcycle, truck, tractor, convertible. I can't fly a plane. But if you teach me... And how do you see the road? I just imagine it, sir. <coughs> Your dog seems familiar to me. It's Anna's. I'm just taking care of it. Anna? She's a friend of mine that I helped travel to San Marcos so that she could find her dad. I once had a daughter. Her name was also Anna. And what happened to her? One night, while we were sleeping, there was a short circuit. By the time the smoke awakened me, the house was already in flames. I'm gonna go stretch my legs for a bit. Can you see the ocean from here? No. My friend Anna wanted me to help her convince her father that he should pick up his wife at the seaside. Seems to me like she really needs him. Prepare the patient now, please. Oh, 
almost five o'clock. That's when the doctor uh, 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 applies his treat treatments. Tickets in hand, please, if you could. <laughs> Tickets, if you be so. Uh, huh? Hey, guys, look what's in here. The weather, the weather is getting worse. Let's do away with that horrible fire monster forever. Mm. Mommy! Anna! Aha! Uh -huh. We'll erase the girl from your mind as well. Where's your father? I don't know. He didn't come. Have we reached the city? Wait for me here. Uh-huh. Carmen! I'll come for my wife. You can see her now. She's getting her treatment from the doctor. Uh, uh, wait, sir, listen! <laughs> They're too tight, Mommy. Just keep on trying, then, Anna. What is it that Anna is trying to do, Matt? You're just making it worse for yourself. Don't talk to me anymore. You've got to accept what happened, Mommy. Anna. Ah, it's time to say goodbye to Anna. Get out of here! What are you doing to my wife? Let her go! Forgive me. Forgive me for leaving you here, darling. Uh, you I... are not allowed to interrupt the treatment! I have your written authorization! Ah! <laughs> Tie him to that chair immediately. Uh, 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 uh. You could also benefit greatly from a few electrical discharges to placate that aggressiveness. You can't do this to us without our consent, Doctor! <laughs> when the relative responsible for one of our patients also loses hold of his reason, 
It is our moral duty to assist him. No! Farewell to Pancho, who now feels prepared to rejoin the outside world. Don't you, Mr. Pancho? <laughs> yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Pancho? There, 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 there. Now listen here, fruitcake. After all those nights of insomnia, within the padded walls of this loony bin madhouse, who was the only one that has ever left your son? Who? You? And in your times of crisis, who was the one true friend that has stayed by your side? You? Well, now! Now I need you to help me! And you'd better help me out now, because if you don't, I swear I will talk to you each and every day and every hour, no matter where it is that you go! Uh, no! Uh, no! Let there be... This lady, because I care for her. I truly care for her. Even if she can't really stand me. But let me tell you something, brother. Even though you don't care much. For that cupcake right there, I would do anything in the world, you hear that? In fact, from this moment on, I'm going dry. I will never... Drink again, ever again! or I'll give you an injection. <laughs> Can't you hear me? <laughs> Manu, prepare the hypodermic. <laughs> Manu. Manu, hey, what, what, what are you doing? Be careful. This isn't a toy. These are delicate devices. So be careful. They can be damaged. And, and you, you might all get seriously hurt. <laughs> Oh. No. 
Don't leave me alone. You won't ever be alone. Anna. I'll miss you too, Mommy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> The monster. Is it there? It disappeared. You did it, Anna. And Anna? Shall remember her until the end of time. She taught me to see true love, and I never got the chance to thank her. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for everything. Now you've really asked for it. You've really asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Anna? 
Richard? Richard! Oh, huh? <sighs> I was dreaming about Anna. Mm. Again, really? Daniel! Daniel! Oh. Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine. How about you? You know we don't like you coming up here when you're alone. How does it look? Richard! Daniel! Come down for breakfast! Coming! Come I love you too, Anna. Hello, Crash. You gotta show me how you get into people's dreams. I try, but I just can't do it. What are you doing here? It's time now. The bride and groom are waiting for you. Rosie told me to make sure that Anna doesn't miss the wedding. Hello, Anna. It's been such a long time. Hello. A and where did you get her from now? Where else? Her mother's head. As always. Shall we? Let's go. Th th then let's go now. <laughs> hmm. So when do we finish my room, huh? With your help, maybe it can happen today. Really? And if we finish it, can I sleep there? Of course you can do it. And... Crash, can I sleep there? No. Crash will have his doghouse here in the backyard. <laughs> What happens if he gets bored? You'll go out and play with him. Could it be inside the house? <laughs> no. And what if it rains and he gets wet? Want some orange juice? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> 